Welcome aboard the voyage through time, unraveling the story of the RMS Republic, once hailed as the Millionaire's Ship, a beacon of luxury and technological marvel of the early 20th century, whose fate became one of the sea's most captivating mystery. Join us as we navigate through her grandeur, tragic demise, and the lingering enigma of her lost treasures. The RMS Republic, launched in 1903 by Harland and Wolfe in Belfast, Northern Ireland, was a testament to early 20th century maritime engineering and luxury. Originally named the SS Columbus, when she served for the Dominion Line on the Liverpool-Boston route, she was transferred to the White Star Line and renamed the RMS Republic as part of a strategic corporate restructuring within the International Mercantile Marine Company, owned by J.P. Morgan. The RMS Republic was a floating palace designed to cater to the elite of the Gilded Age. Her interiors were adorned with luxurious appointments, including fine wood paneling, intricate stonework, and sumptuous fabrics. First-class passengers enjoyed opulent state rooms with private amenities, Gourmet cuisine served in grand dining saloons and leisure facilities that included libraries, smoking rooms, and even a gymnasium. A notable feature of the Republic was her pioneering use of the Marconi wireless telegraph system. This technology allowed for communication with other ships and coastal stations, a capability that was still relatively new to the maritime world. The Republic's wireless equipment played a crucial role in the events following her collision in 1909, enabling her to send distress signals and coordinate rescue efforts, a revolutionary use of technology that highlighted the importance of wireless communication for maritime safety. Throughout her service, the Republic was a symbol of luxury and technological progress, appealing to wealthy Americans and Europeans who demanded the highest standards of comfort and elegance. Her voyages were social events, attracting notable figures of the time and earning her the moniker the millionaire's ship due to the affluent clientele she attracted. The RMS Republic's blend of grandeur, innovation and service set a benchmark for transatlantic travel in the early 20th century, embodying the ambitions and technological advancements of the age. Her legacy, however, would be defined not just by the luxury she offered, but by the dramatic events of her final voyage and the enduring mysteries she left beneath the waves. On that fateful morning, while en route from New York City to Gibraltar and Mediterranean ports, with 745 passengers and crew aboard, the RMS Republic collided with the SS Florida, an Italian liner carrying immigrants. Visibility was poor due to the fog, and despite efforts to signal their presence to each other using their horns, the Florida emerged from the fog at a dangerous proximity and struck the Republic on her port side. The impact was devastating, creating a large gash in the Republic's hull and severely damaging the Florida's bow. The Republic's Marconi wireless operator, Jack Binns, played a heroic role in the aftermath of the collision. Realizing the gravity of the situation, he sent out CQD distress signals, the maritime distress call before SOS became standard. These were among the first wireless distress signals ever sent and received, marking a significant moment in maritime history. The messages reached the wireless station at Sias Consett, Nantucket, and several ships, including the RMS Baltic, responded to the call for assistance. Despite the severe damage, the Republic remained afloat for nearly 39 hours after the collision, a testament to her sturdy construction and the effectiveness of her watertight compartments. During this time, an extensive rescue operation was launched. Passengers and crew were evacuated to the SS Florida and the arriving rescue ships, including the Gresham, a revenue cutter, and the Baltic. Remarkably, due to the calm and orderly evacuation, only a few lives were lost as a direct result of the collision. Despite the best efforts to save her, the RMS Republic sank on January 24, 1909, approximately 50 miles south of Nantucket Island. The loss of the Republic was a significant event, not just for the White Star Line, but for the maritime community as a whole, highlighting the vulnerabilities even the most modern ships faced. The collision led to a complex legal battle over liability, with both lines suffering heavy financial losses. 
Ultimately, the courts found the SS Florida at fault for failing to navigate safely in foggy conditions. The incident spurred further discussions on maritime safety, leading to improved regulations regarding ship design, life-saving equipment, and the use of wireless technology for distress signaling. The sinking of the RMS Republic was overshadowed by the Titanic disaster just three years later, but it played a crucial role in demonstrating the value of wireless telegraphy in saving lives at sea. It led to the adoption of more stringent safety protocols, including the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, SOLAS, in 1914, which mandated the carriage of wireless telegraphy equipment on passenger ships. The Republic's demise also marked one of the first instances where the wireless telegraph was used to coordinate a mass rescue operation, setting a precedent for future maritime rescues. The incident remains a poignant reminder of the perils of sea travel in the early 20th century and the relentless efforts to enhance safety for all who venture across the world's oceans. The legend of the valuable cargo. One of the most enduring mysteries surrounding the RMS Republic is the nature of her cargo. It has been widely speculated that she was transporting a significant amount of gold and other valuables at the time of her sinking. Various reports and rumors suggest the cargo included American Gold Eagle coins, along with other gold bullion intended for the Tsarist government in Russia or for the payroll of the United States Navy's Great White Fleet. The estimated value of this supposed cargo has reached into the billions of dollars in today's money, fueling numerous expeditions to locate and recover the treasure, treasure hunting expeditions. Since the Republic's sinking, there have been numerous attempts to locate the wreck and salvage its reputed riches. Modern treasure hunters, armed with advanced technology such as sonar and remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, have scoured the ocean floor in search of the ship and her cargo. Martin Bayerle is one of the most notable treasure hunters associated with the Republic. He has made several attempts to recover the rumored wealth since locating the wreck in 1981. Despite these efforts, the true nature and extent of the cargo remain a mystery, with only a fraction of the wreck explored and much left to speculation. The wine mystery. In addition to the speculated treasure, the RMS Republic is known to have been carrying a cargo of fine wines, bound for the Tsars of Russia. The allure of potentially discovering well-preserved vintage wines from the early 20th century adds another layer of intrigue to the wreck. Wine enthusiasts and historians are intrigued by the possibility of recovering such bottles, which would offer a unique glimpse into the viniculture and trade of the era. The Republic gold coin conspiracy. Amid the various tales and speculations, one particular story stands out, the Republic gold coin conspiracy. This theory suggests that a special issue of gold coins minted to commemorate the ship and her fateful voyage was aboard the Republic when she sank. Though no concrete evidence supports the existence of these coins, the story persists, adding to the mystique and allure of the wreck, the impact on maritime law. The mysteries of the RMS Republic have contributed significantly to maritime law, embodying the romantic and perilous nature of sea voyages in the early 20th century. The ship's story is a compelling blend of history, tragedy, and treasure, a real-life treasure island that continues to intrigue and inspire. Whether or not the legends of her cargo are true, the RMS Republic remains a symbol of the eternal human fascination with the sea, its secrets, and the treasures it may conceal. As we conclude our journey, the RMS Republic remains a beacon of fascination, her story a blend of luxury, tragedy, and mystery. In the silent depths, she guards her secrets challenging those who dare to uncover the truths of the past. Thank you for joining us on this voyage into history and mystery. Until next time, keep exploring. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like button, share with your friends, and comment on the next mystery you would like to watch here.